Hello friends and today we're going to start our Spanish journey talking about nouns and articles. So first of all, what is a noun? A noun is a word used to denote a person, place, thing or an idea. I know that you know it, but still let's go through it. A person like Jerry, mom, Mexican, place, beach, Spain, school, thing, nose, plain, melon, and idea, slavery, boredom, intelligence. In the Spanish language, unlike in the United States of America, there are only two genders. And to know how the word identifies, you don't need to ask it. Just look at an article in front of it. So, el libro, the book, is a masculine noun. And el miedo, the fear, is also masculine. But la tienda, the store, is feminine. And la madre, the mother, is also feminine. To make nouns plural in Spanish, you need to follow the law. I mean, a couple of rules. So, if a noun ends with a vowel, add S. Pretty simple, right? La pluma becomes las plumas. If a noun ends in a consonant, just add ES. Yes. La ciudad becomes las ciudades. If a word ends in ION, do the same thing, add ES, but remove the accent. So, el avión becomes los aviones. And if a noun ends in Z, do the same thing again, add ES, just change Z to C. La voz becomes las voces. Now, let's dive a little bit more into what an article is. An article is a word that comes before a noun to show whether it's specific or general. Like the English word the is a definite article. While English only has two articles, a and the, Spanish has eight articles. That's crazy, I know, but it's pretty simple and straightforward. So let's look at this little chart. Masculine. Definite singular article el, similar to English the, and definite singular feminine article la, also similar to English the. We already saw them here. El libro, la tienda, to make them plural. We just change el to los and la to las. So el libro becomes los libros. And uh, la tienda, yes, la tienda becomes las tiendas. And it's even more easier with indefinite article. Un and una, which correspond to English a, un libro, una mm, mesa, a table, un libro, uh, is a, uh, a book, and una mesa is a table, but... You can also say it in plural. In English, you would say the, no matter whether it's definite or indefinite. If it's plural, it's the. But it's a little bit different in Spanish. You would use unos libros and unas mesas. Now, to make it more clear, let's look at the examples. Una galleta, a cookie. La galleta, the cookie. Unas galletas. Some cookies, las galletas, the cookies, and another one, un papel, a paper, el papel, the paper, unos papeles, some papers, los papeles, the papers. And for the last portion of this note, I want to show you some gender generalizations. I know gender can be such a chaotic, neutral thing, well, you can kind of predict it. If a word ends in O, it can be masculine. Oh, wow. If a word ends in A, it can be feminine, but it's not always the case. Oh my gosh, this iPhone things with camera switches. I still can't get used to it. Anyways, 
Masculine nouns ending in a consonant often add a to become feminine. This is just a little example of how words change from masculine to feminine. El doctor can become la doctora. The most famous example is probably el señor, mister, becomes la señora, missus. Pretty easy. Then some nouns that refer to people use the same form. So el artista, male artist, la artista, female artist. Also same with, or for, with the word for student, el estudiante and la estudiante. The ending doesn't change, as you can see. Now, interesting. Another in Oh my god, camera. Nouns that end in sion, sion, dad, tad, tud, and umbre are feminine, all of them. So, la libertad, the liberty, is feminine. La universidad, university, is also feminine. Uh, la conversación, conversation, also feminine. Now, the trickiest, this, the most trickiest thing ever. Oh my god, this. If, if you have iPhone, guys, you probably understand me, but it's just the camera. Now everything got dark. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe. Okay, that's fine. Not that bad. Some nouns that end in A are masculine. Can you imagine? This is crazy. El problema. El poema. Well, lucky for us, most of this end in ma. So if you see that something ends in ma, there is a big chance it's probably masculine. However, there are also some exceptions, like la cama, the bed. Oh, where are we? Um, what else? La pluma, the pen, the pen. Yeah. Then some nouns that end in o are feminine. No way so la mano the hand is feminine it's so unnatural you want to say el mano or la mano but not la mano and la radio also sounds so unnatural means guess what the radio and for the last last thing there's some exceptions that you just have to memorize these four words they're not a lot just these four words are all masculine words that end in a el dia the day el mapa the map el planeta the planet and el sofa the sofa i hope i made your understanding of spanish a little bit better i'm going to create oh my god iphone stop it i'm going to create more videos but here's the full picture of the uh, conspect. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it.